In a special report last night, we told you about the unsolved murder of a local teenager. And Nicholas Grassmeyer, who lived in Bellwood, was killed in 1977. More than four decades later, his family's still looking for answers. Charlotte Ames has more on what's known about the case. The evening of September 10, 1977, started out great for 16-year-old Nick Grassmeyer, a football player at Bellwood Annis High School. His team, the Blue Devils, beat their rivals, the Tyrone Golden Eagles. And he came down to the house after the game and bummed the door so he could go to the dance after the football game. After the dance, he went to his girlfriend's house, calling after midnight to say he'd walk the short distance home. They discovered the next morning that Nick hadn't come home. They retraced what would have been his route home, Route 865 out of Bellwood, and left onto Route 220. When they found no sign of Nick, they called police. They, they thought he'd run away or, or maybe he was at another friend's house, and I said, no, that wasn't so. Police and the rest of the community joined the search for Nick. Shortly after 1 p.m. on Sunday, two people jogging noticed a body down an embankment along Route 859, about five miles from his home. An autopsy showed Nick died of a fractured skull and the death was ruled a homicide. 42 years later, his family doesn't know much more than that and they're frustrated. They find it, found him on a Janesville Pike, so the police chief who was in charge out of Holdysburg at the time, I can't recall his name, decided that somebody up the mountain done it. So they went up there door to door and investigated up there for the first few weeks and that was the wrong place, I think. Bob thinks state police should have focused on Bellwood and Tyrone. His son Bob, Nick's half-brother, believes somebody knows something about what happened. Some say he might have been hit by a car in an accident. People were afraid to come forward. Mm. So he's, uh, you always hear a lot of the same names. Now someone from another generation of Grassmeyers, his daughter Ariana, has joined the search. I have spent a lot of time talking to a lot of people, you know, anyone who will listen, anyone who has anything to say. She's been doing her own investigating and keeping a record of what she's found, but she hasn't found answers. You hear different rumors over the years and such, and I have endless rumors. I have a whole book filled with rumors, but at the end of the day, rumors don't mean anything until we know the truth. Her grandfather says state police used to check in with him, but he hasn't heard anything from them since 2007. Well, I call down there about once a year, twice a year, and they keep telling me they'll return my call, but they never do. He often visits Nick's grave. His son is buried next to his mother, who died in 1994. I mean, his mother died not knowing, and I'd like to know before I died. Charlotte Ames, WTAJ News. Now, we were unable to locate any police officers who worked on the Grassmeyer case 42 years ago. It's now in the cold case file. That's state police in Hollidaysburg. A trooper tells us they update it once a year unless new information comes up. If you have any information, contact state police in Hollidaysburg.